हेलो गाइस वेलकम वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो गाइस आर यू लुकिंग फॉर कोर्सेस अदर देन एमपीएस और आर यू लुकिंग फॉर कोर्सेस दैट आर इन डिमांड और आर यू अ बायो स्टूडेंट एंड ट्राइंग टू फाइंड सम न्यू इंटरेस्ट्स बट डोंट नो हाउ टू चूज अ कोर्स और हाउ टू डू अ रिसर्च ऑन इट देन आई गॉट यू कवर्ड दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू सो स्टार्टिंग विद द कोर्सेस दैट यू कैन गेट थ्रू नीट so the first one is um, bds dental the second one is bhms homeopathy the third one is bams that is ayurveda the fourth one is bnys that is naturopathy and the fifth one is bums that is unani so if any of these interests you then definitely go for it because any field in medical is in demand we'll talk about the courses that are available to you these are the gradual courses that you can do over the period of time so all these differ in their time periods and length of courses so the first one is certificate course diploma course bachelor's degree um undergraduate degree course um post graduation degree course phd that is doctorate then pdf which is above doctorate that is post doctoral fellowship so these are the things these are the uh, orders that you can follow and these are the courses that you can opt for now we'll talk about non medical courses that are available the courses are animal tissue culture agricultural engineering biochemistry bioinformatics biomedical engineering biophysics clinical technician and microbiologists so um, these are some specialization courses that you can do and um, as to what i have researched and as to what i have heard from my um, friends relatives who are doing these courses who are into these i've got to know that some topics which are very much in demand in today's world are food textile pharmacy agriculture and animal husbandry so these are growing a lot on a commercial scale so there's a high demand of these specializations now we're going to be talking about the bsc courses that are available in the medical line so all these courses are related to medical and highly in demand so you should check it out courses available are b pharma bsc clinical research bsc medical anatomy bsc medical physiology bsc medical microbiology bsc operation theater and anesthesia technologies bsc orthopedic technologies bsc radiology and imaging technology bsc nursing bachelor's in physiotherapy bsc surgery and technology so uh, all of these are very much in demand and very much needed in the medical field in hospitals and everywhere so um, choosing these careers you will get to work in hospitals out of hospitals in labs so it's quite a good option if you consider and uh, if you're interested in any of these do your research and definitely go for it so coming to the last topic of the day so i always say do your research do your research but how do you do your research so i'll be telling you how i do my research so if you're planning or if any of these topic interests you and you're planning to take it and or do some research on it then um, this might help you so to start with the research we're going to start with knowing your course very well because if you're going to take it then it's going to stay with you forever as a career right so you need to know about it very well so the first thing in the courses that you'll be searching about would be under graduation and post post graduation programs because you need to know how it will proceed and what all you will have to face and take in future so phd or all these things that um, go step by step you need to see that so the first one is under graduation and post graduation uh, programs now the second thing that you're going to be searching about is the duration the duration of each course that you will be taking and uh, duration matters a lot for lots of people so it's very important that you know the duration of the courses third thing is subjects so it's very important that you know what all subjects are there in your course because that's what you'll be studying in your future years right so um many times what happens is that um the specialization name or the course name fancy is fancy and you just it interests you 
but the subjects that you have to study in it might not interest you and that is not good for your career because if you have interest in something and if you really like it only then you'll be able to do really good in your career fourth thing is demand so you need to know that how much it is in demand in your country as well as in other countries so that you know the highest demanding countries like the countries which value your work the most for example biotechnology it's not much valued or paid in india but in foreign countries it's quite in demand right so you need to search in which countries these uh, options or these subjects are in demand coming to the second thing that you'll be researching about would be the colleges the colleges that you'll be choosing to study the course right so first you'll be you'll be searching about the colleges in india depending on your um, place preference financial conditions and um, your marks both marks usually you get admissions for bsc through your both marks so depending on all these conditions you will be selecting your college and then in college you also have to search about the foreign colleges and the opportunities they offer for the same course uh, whether it is pg or ug you need to search about both because if you do ug in india then uh, doing pg in foreign if you have any plans of going out of india and stuff then ug for foreign you can search um, the colleges that are available so abhi se you can start your preparations for that so the third thing that you will be researching about would be blogs articles news all these general knowledge stuffs because it's very important that you know what's going on in this field in this course in the, in these subjects no one says before taking a course go read blogs go search for article and um, read articles or search for news and stuff no one says that because um no one considers it important or gives much importance to it because you'll be taking it you'll gradually get used to it you'll get to know you get to learn but what i believe is that before you take anything it's it's a commitment because you are going to choose this as career you will be doing this all your life unless you change or um, decide something in middle of your route but unless and until you will be doing it for all your life it's your career it's something that you should love and when you love your career when you love what work you do that's when you grow that's when you can give your 100% in it that's when you enjoy it and in life it's very important to have satisfaction with whatever work you'll be doing so before taking a course you should know about everything because it's going to stay with you for all your life right so please do your research right and get your facts gathered because it's a big decision that you'll be making so with this i'd like to end my video thank you guys for watching my video if it helped you do like it share it and subscribe it thank you bye bye